Hello, I'm Pink Ponage here, and I'm going to review my perfect Valve Index setup uh, on my couch. Yes, I'm that professional. <laughs> so I realized that a lot of people benefited from me mentioning my accessories. They got it, and they said it was like amazing. So I'm going to go break it down. It looks simple, but it's really not. I have a lot of things here. So I've gotten these accessories over like a year, right? And everything here is meant for perfect comfort as well as performance during Pop 1, which is the most intense VR game you can really play, I think, at this moment. So you have the key in the front here, you have a Kiwi design fan. So normally it doesn't look like that at the front. It has like a protective cover. Uh, so the Kiwi design fan, that big chunk there where my hand is, actually sucks the hot air from the processing uh, and within your facial piece of the mask, it sucks it out of the headset towards um, where my arm is, right? So it pushes it, pulls it out, and you'd be so amazed at how much a difference this makes, okay? It's not expensive for this piece, and it's one of the most impactful things on, like, this entire headset, okay? Uh, the lenses won't fog. Uh, it will be a lot less hot on your forehead. Can't tell you how worth it is. It's so easy to attach. It, it just pulls out, plugs in, uh, or snaps in, and then it has this uh, USB that it's connected to that takes battery from the uh, the headset. Um, now, I haven't had any problems removing the protective cover from the index. Uh, I've seen a couple of reviews saying that if you pull it off, there might be you know issues, etc. I haven't had any issues. It's been working just great. It pulls that air out just like I'm, I'm pointing. Can't stress how important this one is. If you have a valve index, you got to get this, okay? It makes that big a difference. It's really small. It's very lightweight. Uh, and you see it's got dual fans there. Uh, I honestly just leave this running like 24-7 because I'm too lazy. It, there's a button on the front where you can actually turn it off. But I'm so goddamn lazy. I like to let it vent out after I play because it gets very dank in there and musk, musky. Uh, so I just honestly leave it on most of the time. So now getting to the straps. You'll note I have a strap on the top of the headset there, that vel cloth Velcro strap. Really amazing. Got it off of Etsy. And you'll see the same thing on the back there that looks like the same material and they are a package deal that you can buy on Etsy. They are a little expensive on Etsy. Like when you see it, you go, really? That expensive for that? But when you get it and you put it on, you realize how important it is, okay? So that back strap right there is a counterweight with Velcro strap. The, the, the cord wraps through it too, so it holds the cord nice and securely. So it's not just, the cord's not just dangling on your shoulder. It, it goes up to my cable pulley system. It's got counterweight back there to relieve all pressure off the front of the face but and you know i wasn't sure whether i should buy that top strap right there that i'm holding but it helps so much with comfort that that top strap balances everything out so perfectly while the back thing reduces the uh the frontal pressure the top one distributes the pressure even better like across your whole head so as soon as i put it on i have no pressure anywhere on my entire head as long as i have it adjusted correctly it's got two velcro straps really easy to take out and wash which I've never done, uh, but it's uh, it, it's so easy. It looks cheap, uh, but it's actually it feels like high quality in my hand. Um, I really can't stress how important this is. Yes, it's expensive uh, on Etsy, but I mean it. It's so worth it. These two pieces, and this is the one I get a lot of praise for. They go, wow, I put that on and it was that like awesome. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. That's that kind of accessory. It is okay, amazing. So you see the back strap here now, and you'll see it's all held on by Velcro, very adjustable. You don't have to have the cord coming out the way I do. You'll see that tension in that cord, those twists, that's actually really bad. I'm surprised my cord has not broken yet. That's the initial stock cord. So it comes out really easy. It comes with all these Velcro things that you can kind of jerry-rig. To get it on, you literally just kind of slide it across the whole cord, which is really annoying. But it has all these nice little Velcro pieces. It allows full adjustment stability okay it's a little weird to get used to and it's going to take you a little bit to adjust but trust me when i say it's worth it so the most annoying piece about this though is sliding it on and off and like you have to slide it down your whole dang cord so that means you're gonna to have to unplug from your computer you know and plug back in uh kind of annoying when the cord's so dang long right
All right, so we're deconstructing the headset. We're taking it down piece by piece. And you're going to see what it looks like when it's like bare bone, you know, no accessories. So we're getting smaller now. And you're like, oh, okay, there's probably not much left here, right? Wrong. Uh, so the next piece is the facial interface. Okay, that's not stock. That is the AMVR uh, facial interface there. Uh, I like this a lot because it puts your face closer to lenses. So you get like a large, better field of view since your eyes are closer. But not just that the material is very uh comfortable and most importantly it's not spongy like the stock one on the index is a dang sponge so all your sweat from pop one just absorbs in it no matter how much you wash it it smells like odor it's that disgusting uh but this one you can take it off you know throw it in a wash throw it away or you know i just wipe it with bleach you know clorox cloths and disinfectant cloths here and there and i haven't really had an issue it doesn't smell like crap yet but the stock one smelled like so much crap no matter how much i wipe it with disinfectant and bleach wipes you know and wash it so this one's great uh it's got a lot of different um little like velcro straps here so you can adjust for glasses or no glasses etc make you can make sure that essentially you have no light escaping where you don't want it to so that is really nice right there. So you have that little side piece in. It really helps. It will take a little bit of adjustment for your face, but that adjustability makes it so that it is very versatile. AMVR, uh, you know, cover facial uh, interface here. I really like it. Uh, not too expensive too. So totally good value. It's It snaps in magnetically. You know, it just, it's wonderful. Uh, I really have no complaints about this. You can see the uh, magnet there right so now we're going to move on to another piece we're getting we're getting closer to you know full deconstruction here right now you see these lenses these lenses are reloptics and i actually won these from arc uh league uh in red division we got first place overall for the season they we had free in lens inserts which was amazing because these things were not cheap they were like mid to upper 200 dollars range and especially since my eyes have all these issues with them uh my glasses are really thick in real life uh and like these are amazing i had ones that were i think they were vr wave before that I really didn't like these ones snap on magnetically once you get the insert on it it's fantastic it doesn't feel like you're looking through uh what you call it like a barrel or like there's no like screen door kind of ish effect where it looks like you can tell you're looking through a lens it looks that clear it's great for my i mean you know, i have really bad vision and you know i adjusted this to you know i gave them my prescription it looks great it snaps on great feels really high quality never snaps off when i'm in pop one but my other ones did it was really annoying the other ones i had the vr wave ones you have to like put in there forcefully and kind of just pray they never slip out but these you had they have that attachment right there where it's so easy and it's just a magnet design i can't stress how amazing these are if you have glasses and you need inserts uh, i was actually going to do a whole video on these uh, because they are that amazing once i got them okay uh, i will never go with another company for uh like these prescription inserts i've had two uh you know or three different companies uh for my quest etc these are the ones i'm always going to buy or this from this company at least moving forward all right beautiful high quality um I got no complaints. Uh, I haven't scratched them. They're, you know, even though I don't spray and wipe, I really dry wipe. If you, if you don't know glasses, that like leads to a lot of scratches really easy. They're great. No complaints. Super crystal clear. And my last ones were not. Okay, VR Wave. Okay, so we're finally down to like full deconstruction here. Now, that looks a lot thinner than in the beginning of the video, right? And I'm just going to pull up all these accessories real quick. You know, see them all laid out here. Uh, it's... Yes, it's a lot of money, but I mean, it, it's so worth it if you're serious about being in this damn headset for hours a day. Okay, now moving to the controllers, this is amazing. Okay, this uh, attachment I got from Etsy, it is perfect in your hand when you when you hold the controllers, they feel really small. I have really tiny hands. Okay, uh, look how like tiny my hands are but like when i feel i hold the handle it feels cheap it feels small in your hand uh, and it just it feels awkward uh 
And if you have a larger hand, I can't imagine it's going to feel any better. So the problem is I accidentally touch the sensor a lot when I'm holding on because you don't really know when you're holding it and you're in the game where the sensor is unless you get used to it. But like with this attachment, my, my hand's a little bit of farther away from the sensor so I don't accidentally grab it and accidentally pick some shit up and get myself killed in game, which you see me do all the time. Okay. So the attachment's really awesome. This one was a little broken. I, I forced it in incorrectly and it kind of snapped. Watch out for that. This was kind of exciting expensive for what it is it's really just a 3d printed piece of you know kind of plastic ish thing but it's really done well you can see there's like little miniature ridges like printed horizontally in it so that it feels like it has a bit of grip so it actually feels really good in your hand okay and that that's a big deal uh it feels high quality even though it looks like you can pick it up at the goodwill <laughs> all right <laughs> yeah, I, I this is important I, I cannot play Valve Index without these uh, Population 1 at least, or any Valve Index, honestly. It feels really weird without them now. Uh, they snap in nice and easy. This is one that's not broken, okay? It looks a lot better, right? Uh, but it really just snaps in and out. Uh, you can find this on Etsy. They come in all sorts of different colors. I chose pink for obvious reasons, right? Now, getting to my headset, the Steel Series Arctic 7 Plus Wi-Fi, okay? I, I really hate the Valve Index headphones because you can't hear people climbing under you well, and you really can't hear in the zone well. Uh, when the zone's ticking and on the Valve Index stock headset, but the, with these headphones, I can hear so much better. Uh, you can customize all the frequencies so you can make you know uh, footsteps sound where they should sound and how they should sound, and you can hear it a little better. It's amazing. It fits perfectly over my index, and my head's kind of small. Even if your head's a little bit bigger than mine, you're probably going to be okay. Uh, it's got um, that nice vel you know like elastic kind of band in it that you can adjust for your head. Now, the beauty of it is it fits right over the valve index, and you don't actually have to detach the speakers that are already on the index, so I can literally just fold the index headphones out of the way, put these over, so I actually have two kinds of audios that are on the headset, so I actually have my speech chat in stream go to the valve index headphones so I can kind of hear it, but not everyone in the chat can hear it. While I have my game audio coming through here, I can at least tell when someone's trying to talk to me in speech to chat. When I have the audio going into the Valve Index headphones here, right, that are folded versus the ones that are actually coming in my ear. So you have like a lot of nice control. And the Valve Index, let's be real, is much better if you're a streamer because you can pull up like the live app and you can have like the chat on your hand if you flip your hand or anything like that. So, you know, this is definitely a better streaming device, like if you're a serious content creator streamer, right? But uh, it's, you know, it's kind of expensive. The one thing, the reason why I'm showing you this video is because I am actually dropping the Valve Index and I'm moving on to the Quest 2. The reason why is because the tr controllers break too goddamn easy. And so you can see here, right, that I, I can just fit it right over perfectly. But the controllers for this Valve Index just break so bad, worse than the Quest 2 controllers. I've gone through my three pairs. I'm on my fourth damn pair now. Each pair costs $300, almost the price of the Quest 2. I see people complaining about Quest 2 controllers for $70. Well, imagine replacing every two to three months your Valve Index controllers for $300 because you have drift that doesn't get fixed by, you know, the contact cleaner. Your buttons, like your grip is going, when you press your grip, it holds for like two seconds instead of like letting go, even though you let go way before. Like it's it's got all these issues. Like when I'm in smooth turn like it it put it makes the game think i'm i have offhand influence i shit you not um and so like i had to drop that controller and switch in another controller and that issue's gone like there's so many weird issues with these controllers you look at them funny they break and that's why i'm dropping this headset but i hope you enjoyed this video and benefited from it it's really just to help you get you know your perfect rigged all right and with that we'll end this video thank you so much for watching